All right, we're here with board shape master Alex Aguera, and he was just explaining to us the wind minimum for kiting and how the wind minimum depends not only on where you're at but also on the temperature. And it was a pretty interesting explanation I thought maybe you could share with the, uh, the folks at home. Well, our wind minimum here for the course racing is six knots of wind. And depending on what kind of conditions you are, six knots has a big difference. Like say, for instance, we're here in Texas on a super hot day, it's approaching 90 degrees. Six knots is not gonna feel the same as if you're in 60 degree weather, like say in, in Zilt, Germany. It's, a, it's a, a lot colder air mass and it'll be a lot denser wind. The molecules feel like there's a lot more push in your kite with the same amount of six knots. I used to run uh, competitions for the uh, PWA. I was the head race director for many years. And I noticed that you know in certain competitions, we'd have the exact same wind meter. And when you go to a different competition, like I went to Germany, and we're, you know, we're doing our regular stop and zilt, and the guys were moving in 11 knots, no problem with the 6.5. And we were previously at another competition, and uh, I can't remember where we were, it was probably Guadalupe or someplace where it was really hot, and the same 11 knots, everybody was riding like 8 O's. Wow. So it was a, the same exact wind meter, there was no change in the wind meters at all, and the, yeah. The, the coldness of the air makes a huge difference. air density. Yeah, and you were saying for us Florida guys in the summer, especially when you get that water that's really hot, it'll be blowing maybe 10 to 15, but it just doesn't feel like it has anything behind it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, in '87, we went to Guadalupe. There was super hot water. We got 11 knots of wind. I had this was back in the old longboard days. I had a dagger board down with an eight meter, and I couldn't even move. Wow. You, know, you go to Germany, and all of a sudden you're lit on your slalom board with a six five, just because the air temperature's colder, the water temperature's colder. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why in Maui there's a lot of power. The water is not exactly super warm in Maui. You know, the water's hovering around you know 75 degrees, and it's a little bit you know chilly, deep water. Mm -hmm. So the when the when it's blowing 25 to 35 in Maui, you know, but other people swear it was 40. Wow. You know, it's just a, a super dense, powerful air. Wind, powerful wind. Wow. Where if I go to Florida in the summertime, it could be blowing 25 to 30, and I might be on, you know, two kite sizes smaller. Interesting. I mean, wow. bigger. That's crazy. So it's a, it's a pretty simple concept, but certainly something I've actually never thought about. I thought maybe the, uh, the folks at home would, would like to learn it. Thanks so much. Sure. Appreciate it.